Hey Ben, how about playing the intro card for us, huh? We got some more packages from some of our subscribers, so it's time for me to open them up and see if I can guess what's in the mail. Just so you know, this is gonna be the last time we'll do this segment for a while. So if you're ready, Ben Churchill, what's the first package? Dear Tommy, my name is Derek. I wanted to send things that are intangible. I give you these items not due to my high coin in my pocket. I give them to you for the true appreciation of priceless items. This has a great feel to it. It's solid. <gasps> I feel like this opens. This is a knife. What else does it do? I feel like it does more. A little nail file. I think that's a regular item. That can't be for your nails. Oh my God, it's pliers. This is a great device. Do you know what that's called? No, I have no idea what you call this. But what would you describe it as? Like it's a Swiss Army knife, like a tool kit. Like a multi-tool. A multi-tool kit. What they call that is a Leatherman, because you need a great sharp knife, he says. <laughs> Thank you, Derek, I do. <laughs> Next. This, again, it's a solid piece. It's very solid, it's heavy. Do you want a hint? Yes, please. As of now, you would never need this. I would never need this. I'll say a magnifying glass. Oh no, there's a button, it's a light. There's a button on the bottom. This is a light, like a flashlight. That is correct. Thank you. Derek says, the flashlight is for when science gives you your sight. Oh, thank you, Derek. What is that? This is really nice stuff. This first piece, I know exactly, you know what this is? This is called a Kelly clamp. This is they use in surgery to clamp veins, at least they used to. This is another clamp. Yeah, these are, this is a kit of some sort. I feel like it may be surgical stuff. It's called a minor surgery kit. And what does it say? You said you don't know what we look like inside. Once you learn biology of the human, it doesn't change. So if you had to do surgery, it's the same as a professional surgeon. It is 98% feel and touch. Derek, man, that's great. All right, so this is from Remy. Dear Tommy, I actually met you one time in a local bar and was too shy to say anything. I hope you like these. They feel really different. If you can't guess, they are. Okay, stop right there. Wow, I don't, well obviously it's, these things are made of rubber. It almost feels like carpeting, you know, like sort of indoor outdoor carpet. And then there's another texture on sort of this end here, but they have handles on them, which I assume, I assume that's a handle. They're not things to take caps off of bottles, right? It's too small to do that. Oh, unless, hold on a second, could you maybe hang things with these? Like these parts maybe suction to the wall and maybe this part peels off and it could be, yeah, I'm gonna guess that you hang things on a wall with these, like a picture or something. That's incorrect. Oh. I hope you like these, they feel really different. If you can't guess, they're called facial scrubbers. Hope you enjoy them. Hello, Tommy. I have heard you say that you would like to see the drawings you drew. I have printed a few off and made indentations on the lines. Can you guess which one is which? Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Wait, I am a tremendous artist. Very boxy. Box and circle. Like a rectangle and a circle. And then this one has a rectangle with sort of a dot here. A dot's on either side. I'm gonna tell, I don't know. Is this the New York City skyline? That's incorrect. Is it the car? That's correct. Hey, wow, neat. I'll take this one next. Okay, so let's examine the drawing here. It's got nice shapes here. It sort of goes very tall here. Could this be a cloud that I drew? That's incorrect. No, okay. It's not the burger. It's not me. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. This is the New York City sky. Now I'm just going through my drawings and trying to remember everything I've drawn for you. I like this though, this is really neat. I like how this feels. But I like this part here off to the side that's not connected to anything. Is that the kitty? No, maybe, yeah, I'm gonna say, is that the cat? That is correct. Hey, wow, he is ferocious. Look at the t I get that's his tail. <gasps> okay, one more. This one's cool. I, I love the texture of this already. And it's so funny because it, it almost feels like there's braille in here in weird places, but uh, it's not. I'm gonna guess that this is my drawing of what I think clouds look like. I remember drawing them and I remember kind of filling them in and making them sort of, I drew three different kinds. That is incorrect. It's yourself. That's me, oh, that's horrible. How did I, oh, I'm the worst. How is, oh, that's just terrible. Now I know why people say it's so abstract. So speaking of those drawings, you know what? They're back. Yeah, you guys have been requesting them and now you can get them on t-shirts and stickers too. We're offering the kitty cat that I drew, the self-portrait, and of course the car. 
and they're available right now for the next seven days. So if you'd like them, the link is right there in the description for the video. There are two items in this package. This, wow, what the heck is this thing? Okay, there's um, a wheel on it that turns. There's like a needle on it or a pointer. <gasps> you know what this is? This is a little, like a replica record player. You sound pretty convinced. I do, I feel like this is the tone arm here. Incorrect. Go on, really? Oh, I thought I had it. Let's look at this, let's look at this edge here. It's got a, it's a very rough surface. So this feels like a connector of sorts because there's four pins. So it feels like something would go into those four pins. May I have a hint, please? Yes, I'd say you use this thing many times a week. Could it be a controller for, uh, I don't know, like a DJ controller? But there's only one sort of thing here. If you look at the other thing, does this uh, help you get an idea of what you're looking at? This feels to me like a series, again, like a series of connectors almost, like you could almost plug things into this. And I use this thing several times a week. Yep, it, it might be a slightly different shape or size. Yep but I definitely know you use this kind of thing, and so do I. It's not a radio. It's nothing for the phone. I wouldn't cook with this. This is a hard one. Okay, let's go back to the other thing. What's the main property of it that you... Um... The main property, I feel like, is the thing that turns, this sort of platter that, that spins. Right, what spins? Uh, like a radio dial, the plate in the bottom of the microwave oven, but I don't use that anymore. A compact disc player. You're very close. A DVD player. Is it for a computer? Is this the inside of a computer? Is this a, like, a, is this what a hard drive looks like? That's correct. Shut up, really? Wow. That's cool. And the other thing, if you don't have this on your computer, then you wouldn't be able to broadcast your radio show. This is a sound card. Holy smokes, I've never seen the inside of like any part of, of a computer before. It's fascinating. This is from Australia. Hey, Tommy. Good eye. I've been watching your videos for a few months now and they often make me smile. So I decided to send you something. Enjoy, Robbie Green. Before I open it up, I feel like it's a boomerang. I don't know why, I feel like I felt one before as a kid and I feel like it's got this sort of a, almost a triangle feel to it. You know, Fred, ooh, pop, pop goes the bubble wrap, y'all. It's wooden, it feels like wood. Does it smell like wood? Kind of does, but it's all treated. That's wood. I'm gonna still say that this is a boomerang. That's How about that? Correct. Huh? Huh? There are a thousand things in here, so I'm just going to dump them out onto the table like this. Hey Tommy, I think I've been subscribed since 10,000 subscribers. Wow, thank you. I've had this video idea for a while, Seeing if you could guess what animal a little pet shop is. I've included 12 different animals with a label for Ben to tell you what the animal is if you can't figure it out. Your biggest fan, Lily. And how many do we think I'll get out of 12? Two. I'll say three. Now, just a side note, Tommy, she did make a video introducing all the different items that she sent to you, explaining oh. what they are and why she thought they were good choices. We'll put a link for that in the description. Oh, we got one out already? Okay. Oh, I like how this is made. It turns around, nice. Okay, so it's got big, big long ears. Now, is that facing forward? Yeah, so this, there's not much of a face on him. But these big giant ears make me think instantly bunny rabbit. There you go, correct. Nice, say. Next item, let's have a look. Uh-huh. So I'm noticing sort of a thing in the front here and this part in the back. So with that, it's, there's not really much information to go on here. What but, are you feeling? What's oh the... wait, there's, there's two eyes right here. I feel like this is a beak in the front and I feel like this could be like a plume on the top of the head. So I will say that this is a bird. What type of bird? Oh, you're kidding me. I'll say it's a peacock. That's incorrect. Oh, chicken. Not a chicken. A rooster. Also not a rooster. What is he? It's a woodpecker. A woodpecker. All right, here's the next one. Okay, this has more, I feel like this is more to it than, it than the others. This has a head. I don't feel eyes, although I feel things on both sides of the face. And the, the tail is a little tail that sort of points to the left, which I find very strange. Um, <laughs> it's a democratic tail. The back I don't get much from, but I feel like the, the feet, there's four feet here. The thing on the top of the head is what's sort of throwing me here. I'm, you know, I'm gonna say it's a kitty. That is incorrect. That's not correct. That's an iguana. An iguana! Okay, next one. Okay, this is a taller fella. Big giant ears on you. Right up the top. Nice eyes. Texture is soft, very soft. 
It's almost, it's almost furry. But oh, there's four feet on the bottom though, and a tail. I'm gonna say a dog. That's a cat. Oh, that's a kitty. Okay, yeah, it's, yeah I, I get that now with the ears, sure. Next one. Wow, this has a giant, there's many things coming off of this. There's two things on the back. I'm gonna go with, um, wow, could, they wouldn't do two, would they? But uh, yeah, th this is another bird. That is not a bird. Oh, a lander sea creature? Sea. Sea creature. What would have the curvy tail on the back? A shark. Close. No, the fins. Uh, a dolphin? No. No? A whale? There you oh, go. Oh, he's giant. Yeah, look at the size of that. That's a whale. How would you get a whale at a pet shop? Next one. Oh, he's a furry one. I like the furry ones. That's a cute little nose and mouth. The ears. You're going to kill me in the comments. I'm going to say this is a dog now. This has got to be a dog. Think about your answer. All right, hold on. Think about your answer. I've never really touched one, but is a mouse furry? I'll say a mouse. Is it a squirrel? Is it a squirrel? Squirrel's tails don't, aren't furry. I'll go with a squirrel. You said squirrel? Yeah. That is incorrect. Oh! It's a lion. That's a lion. That's a big furry mane. Wow, ferocious. Next item. Next item. It's very small. Like the eyes are giant. I don't really see any ears. It's got sort of a bumpy head, but I don't really feel like there's a tail. Two, four feet, two face out, and two face forward. That's very strange. I'll say it's a duck. That's incorrect. Ah. Oh. Is it a bird of some sort? Like a goose, maybe? No. No? That's a frog. That's a frog. This is going well. All right, I'm doing great at this. I think next time somebody's going to send in a bunch of photographs and have me guess what they are. <laughs> Here we go. Next one. Next one. Wait a minute. Two sort of things sticking off of the head. I feel like those are antennae almost. Like an insect of some sort. I feel like it's like an, um, an ant, a grasshopper. Doesn't a grasshopper have antenna? Or no, a cricket. Is it a kangaroo? I'll go kangaroo. That is incorrect. Ah, of course it's incorrect. What is this? It's a hermit crab. I don't think I've ever, I've only felt one of those bite my foot. Next item. Okay. Wow, big giant thing this one is. Big ears, a happy face, a cute little nose. Maybe those are two sort of feet in the front. The ears, I like the ears a lot. Not furry though, so. What about the back? So this part here is just sort of a flat thing. It doesn't really feel very taily to me. I feel like this could be a fin of some sort. So with that being said, I'm gonna say it's a shark. That is incorrect. Of course it is. <laughs> what is it? It's a beaver. A beaver? Where are the teeth? That's the tail in the back. And there's two little buck teeth in the front, underneath the nose. <sighs> there's Feel it? Yeah. Next one. All right. Let's have a, t oh boy. I like how they all sort of wobble though. Nice big giant ears on you. I feel like there's two feet on the bottom right there in the front, a little teeny tiny tail perhaps in the back. How many feet is it standing on? It's standing on two feet. A bird has two feet. A monkey stands on two legs, a monkey or a gorilla or a, or a, a chimpanzee or an ape or anything like that from that family. So I'll say it's a little monkey. And monkey is incorrect. Wrong, of course it's wrong. That's a kangaroo. That's a kangaroo. Where's the pouch? All right, another one. Oh, fuzzy, very fuzzy this time. I don't feel like there's much of a tail. It's just a big old head, but the whole body's furry. So I'm gonna say rodent, but like no ears. I'm going to say a hamster. That is incorrect. Of course it is. What is it? It's a mouse. That is a seal. What kind of pet shop is this with a whale and a seal? Next and final one. Again, huge ears. There's feet, there are two feet. Not really much of a tail, but the face and the huge ears. The nose looks like a big giant nose. You want a hint first? Yeah, please. You can find it on a farm. I can find this on a farm. I'm gonna say cow. That's a pig. That's a piggy. Oh boy. Well, listen, I got one out of 12. I, I started out strong. I got the first one that was all downhill from here, which was nice. It was you know, a nice ride downhill.